Hey everyone, Zach Campbell here, assistant golf professional at Wycliffe Golf and Country Club, and I just want to share a quick golf tale with you guys. Um, you know, back when I was high school, um, for starters, I've been playing golf my whole life. My dad got me into golf from a very young age. Um, he played golf growing up as well, and um, and he was a golf professional back in the '90s before I was born. And um, so as soon as I was born, he had me playing golf from a very young age. Uh, growing up, you know, I was a competitive kid, so I always wanted to beat my dad. Uh, that was something that I always wanted to, uh, always wanted to do. Um, I strived to beat him um, just because he was one of the better ones in the family. So I just wanted to always beat him. And I remember the first time that I did beat him. I was in high school, as a freshman in high school. And um, we went to go out, me, my dad, my mom, and my two sisters. <laughs> We went out to go play, and we were playing at our home course, and it was leading up to that day. Like a lot of times, I'd be so close to beating him. I would, we go down to the last hole, and he would just beat me by one or two, and, uh, and that happened so many times leading up. And I'm like going out there, and I'm like you know, on this day, I'm not gonna lose this time. And uh, it was really back and forth all round, and uh, going up to the last hole, I had a one-stroke lead on him. And our last hole is a dogleg left par five, and um, it's reachable. I can get there in two, both me and my dad both can. Uh, we play from the same tees, and it's about, about 510, 515 yards, short par five. And so uh, so I hit my drive, and he hits his drive. We're both side by side, and uh, we're about, about we, we can cut the corner. So with that corner being cut, we're about 215, 220 out. So, He's he's just a couple yards behind me, and so he hits his drive, uh, hits a second shot, and his second shot's middle of the green, pins in the back. So he, he's about 25, 30 feet from the hole, and I hit my second shot, and um, I pull mine a little left. So uh, I go up to chip, and um, I leave it about five, six feet away from the hole. And I was I was a little nervous. You know, we were driving up to the uh, golf ball, and him and I were riding the same cart, and. And he's doing the whole dad thing, you know, he's like, oh, you're, you're so close to beating me, you only got one stroke lead, uh, but I'm on the green and you're off, so I can make this play, you gotta chip your ball, all this and that, and, uh, and um, it, we were just going to that shot, and I was, I was pretty nervous, I was pretty nervous, and so uh, I chipped mine, like I said, about five, six feet, and uh, he puts his, and when he puts it, you ever like look at a putt, and you're just like, oh, that's gonna go in. And uh, it's tracking, it's tracking, and, and he's just like walking it in. He's walking up to it, and it just stops. Like literally half the ball is over the cup. And, uh, and I'm like, oh, here's my chance to win it. So he taps in his birdie, and uh, so I got a birdie putt to win about five, six feet. And um, I remember when I made that putt, uh, I, I started going crazy. I thought I just won the Masters. Um, you know, beat my dad for the first time. And... Uh, yeah, that just gave me confidence, you know, just to be someone, one, to be someone that's older than me, to be someone that I idolized um, playing golf my whole life. You know, beating him, you know, I felt like I could just go out, and especially as a freshman going in and starting my varsity, um, starting varsity team on the next year, and really just gave me the confidence to really become a better golfer and pursue golf even more. And so, um, really enjoyed that time. Enjoyed playing golf with my dad to this very day. Uh, we still play golf whenever um, he's in town, whenever I go visit him. So it's uh, always something that I've always idolized and really enjoyed doing and everything. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tale. Um, I'm going to nominate three golfers, um, something that we've been doing here at Whitecliff during this time. Um, so I'm going to nominate Andy Nesbet, Ronnie Sushko, and Alan Ufflin. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to seeing those three videos out here pretty soon. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy. We'll see you guys on the course soon.